<sighs> I groaned as I laboriously flopped back onto my stomach and nuzzled deep into the pillow I was clutching. There was a terrible presence between my eyes, made worse by the dull moon of the television in the next room, and the heat of my own damp breath on my face. Frustrated, I tucked my arms into my chest and turned my head towards my window. Normally I didn't have much trouble with sleep, but tonight my mind was tangled on itself. I watched the clouds outside my window slowly drift and reveal the dim yellow moon. As uncomfortable as I felt, it was pleasant to have the moon there with me. I imagined it rushing through calm, black, emptiness of space, and my eyes grew heavy. Again, the clouds sorted along with the wind and covered the moon. The room was now beautifully dark, and the humming of the TV had stopped. I must have fallen asleep, because shortly thereafter, I awoke to the house shaking on its foundation. I struggled to open my eyes, for I was the unlucky limbo between sleep and being truly cognizant. In my stupor, I decided I wanted to sit up instead. My arms, however, were still tuckered underneath me and had fallen asleep themselves. I could not move. Here, I began to panic. I knew I had to get out of the house. Oh, but my eyelids were enormously heavy. It took all of my effort and concentration to even manage a squint. Just enough to see a bright ray of moonlight. I was slowly coming back into consciousness. But I still couldn't move my arms. My vision was blurred, but I could focus on the light of the moon and on the shaking of the house. It began to dawn on me that the shaking was not continuous, but it came in small spurts. Thump. 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 Wait a minute. The shaking. It's... It's in sync with my heartbeat. I'm dreaming? I must be dreaming. It's just my heart. I closed my eyes once more, and in the silence came forth the murmur of the television. I listened carefully. It was a news anchor, but I couldn't make out what she was saying. Something about abductions? Disappearances? Then the room was shaken. I realized it was familiar. It was the sound of footsteps. They were growing quicker. I knew I had to run, but my arms were still stuck underneath me. I tried to take a breath, but my mouth would not open. I squirmed and flopped and flailed and managed to sit up, just in time to hear the crescendo of a thump, 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 thump. A full sprint down the hallway towards my room, the door burst open, and the last thing I saw was the demon's lifeless eyes before being dragged deep, deep, deep down into the darkness.